بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم سالار خان ہیر اور آج میں اپنے نیکس ٹاپک اگر ہم نے 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 اپنے نیکس ٹاپک So the next heading for today is the impulse response and we will also cover what convolution sum because these are related. So you know what an impulse response of the system is. What is it? You tell me. Impulse response is what? Its output of the system when input is impulse function. So which means this is the name to any specific input. It is the name to any specific to output for a specific input. Fine? So what do I have is how do we represent? We have x of t sorry, I, I, I give it to an LTI system, the output is y of t, fine. Now if my input to the system is, if my input to the system is, let us say that impulse function but the, not the exact impulse, okay, delta, delta of t. So in this particular case, my output would be h delta of t and this h of t, h of t for the ideal impulse, h delta for that expanded impulse, this is the impulse response of this system, fine. Now, now if I use the time invariance property of the system, if I have the time invariance. So if the input applied x of t is now delta delta of t and you have a minus k delta as well. So which means the input has been shifted. So now if you provide this to your LTI system, so what would be your output y of t? So now your output y of t would also be shifted. You would have an edge that t minus k delta. Is not it like this? It is. Now this is from your time invariance property. Now what do I do is, if I multiply something with this value, if I multiply, if my x of t is is, is, is let us say now I have multiplied something that is x of k delta. x of k delta is multiplied with delta delta of t minus k delta and now it is feed it to the LTI system. So now what would be the y of t? So from the homogeneity property, from the property of homogeneity, this thing would also be multiplied to the output. So I would have x of k delta and h of delta t minus k delta, fine. Now but this is uh, you know only a single impulse. My input would consist of a number of impulses, right? The input consists of a number of impulses as we saw in the previous video. So which means what would I do? My x of t, my x of t, this would now equal, I would have a summation. I would have a summation k running from negative infinity to positive infinity let us say. And what would this be? x of k delta, delta delta of t minus k delta and now you feed it to your LTI system. So now based on which property, now based on the property of additivity, if you are 
uh, summing the input, so the output would also be summed. So y of t now would also be k running from negative infinity to positive infinity, right? So this is my y of t now. You have x of k delta, h delta of t minus k delta. So now what do you do is, in the previous video, we saw that this wasn't the proper approximation. To make this more exact, to, to make this more accurate, what do you do is, you apply a limit. Apply a limit to delta. So if delta is very small, that is if delta approaches to zero. So this is the thing that you do. So you know what happened in the previous, uh, from the previous uh, video, you know your x of t becomes negative infinity to positive infinity integration summation changes to integration k delta changes to tau delta delta changes to a simple delta t minus k delta changes to tau and and we have a, a an integration limit that is d tau fine yes and we also need to multiply this with the delta right over here, over here. Fine, this is what I missed. Fine, so now, now if you feed this input to your LTI system, you feed this input to your LTI system, so what do you get is the y of t would be equal to integration negative infinity to positive infinity x of tau h of so h delta will now be h of t minus tau and d tau so this is what we call the convolution sum as in the previous case we had convolution integral this is your convolution or also called as the superposition sum fine and symbolically symbolically how is it represented symbolically you have y of t so this is equal to the convolution x of t convolved with h of t this sign is for convolution operator this one is your convolution operator so that's about it now if you ask me about the definition of it so convolution convolution is a mathematical tool used to calculate the output of the system if the input and the impulse response of the system is known write it for yourself convolution is a mathematical tool used to calculate the output of the system if the input and impulse response of the system is known. Now, there is a basic definition, okay. If you want the mathematical of it, so a convolution is an integral, right. A convolution is an integral that expresses, a convolution is an integral that expresses the amount of overlap, the amount of overlap, the product, right? A convolution is an integral that expresses the amount of overlap of one signal, <coughs> sorry, of one signal over the shifted version of another signal, time shifted version of another signal, that's it. A convolution is an integral that expresses the amount of overlap of one function over the time shifted version of another signal and that's all about it. So that's all about your convolution, that's all about your impulse response, that's all about the introduction. From the next video we do examples on this convolution operator. Till then take care of yourselves and everyone around you and do remember me in your prayers. Goodbye.